Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to an after dark clean with me. Tonight I'm spending the evening cleaning and tidying my home. We're one week into the summer holidays and honestly, it looks like a bomb's gone off inside my house. We've been super busy with days out with the kids. Obviously they're off school and we're still renovating and planning on going away very soon. So tonight I was like, I just wanna get on top of all of the chores. There's things that are bugging me. There's dust everywhere. So I'm just gonna spend the night doing this I feel like whenever I'm stressed cleaning and spending time like this somehow de-stresses me and I know that sounds weird but my friend said it's like a you know it's like something you can control so maybe that's what it is I don't know because the house and everything is just chaos at the moment um, so anyway I'm just gonna clean and tidy you might even see a few new rooms um, in the house that you haven't seen before so I hope you really enjoy it I hope it gives you some cleaning inspiration and motivation as well if you like it give it a like if you're new please subscribe for more cleaning content like this and let's get into it so first up i'm going to start out in fraser's bedroom as you can see it is quite a mess this is still the room that matt jackson and i are sharing and this morning i took the sheets off of the duvet and then i've forgotten to put it back on today so i'm just going to clear all of the stuff i was starting to like look at things and pack i ordered a few bits as well so i'm going to clear the bed put a new sheet on the comforter. Caleb's gonna help me as well. Everyone's upstairs because we were running a bath as well. So the boys were gonna get into the bath and I was gonna just like start cleaning and organizing. Um, so anyway, once the bed is all done, I'm gonna tackle the mountain of clothes that is on the side. And just generally Fraser's sideboard is quite messy. Um, a lot of the clothes are mine, not gonna lie. So I'm just gonna clear that away give it a good wipe down as well. So that is this room looking so much cleaner and it didn't even take very long. And while I'm in here, I'm also gonna take out the Dyson purifier, take it downstairs and actually change the filters over. You need to change the filters every 12 months on this and we've already had it for a year. So I'm gonna show you how I do it and also what the filters look like inside after a year of use. And spoiler alert, you would not believe how much dust and how many particles are inside this thing. So definitely stay tuned to see what it looks like. I'll link it in the description if you want to find out more, but it's basically an air purifier that purifies an entire room and it's also a very silent fan that cools you down. And in the winter, it can actually warm you up as well. When we had like half a house and we were renovating, we'd sometimes put it on the heat um, and it would actually warm us up. It also comes with this little remote which magnets to the top of it and it's been so brilliant while we've had all the dust from renovating, but it also really helps with hay fever three out of five of us suffer from hay fever and this has helped so much because it basically senses and captures pollutants in the air it can capture 99.95 percent of particles and they can be as small as allergens and viruses and it traps them inside it's fully sealed so they won't leak back out into the room um, so anyway to change the filters make sure it's turned off and unplugged these are the new ones here this is what they look like and then to open it up you just press down on either side on these buttons and they kind of pop out and then from this you can just push the old filters out um, so I'm going to show you what mine look like after a year of use as I said it's so fuzzy there's so much dust inside of these the filters are also made by Dyson engineers the same ones that make the machines and they're made from like microfibers with hundreds and hundreds of pleats in it so they capture all the very small particles yeah, this is what it looks like so I'm going to show you a little comparison of one that has been used for the full year that we've had it 
and a brand new one as well. And as you can see, I'm very glad that I'm actually changing this today. So if you have one of these as well, don't forget to change them because it really does capture a lot. As I said, I'll link a bit more information down below and then I'm just gonna use um, a piece of paper towel. I think a microfiber cloth would work as well just to kind of dust out where the filter goes. Um, I didn't wanna wet this because I didn't want it to like affect it at all. I'm just kind of dusting out then I'm gonna put the new filters in and then I'm gonna put it back onto the Dyson purifier, do the same on the other side and then take this back upstairs into our room. And while I'm up there, I'm also gonna give our bathroom a quick once over. We're still kind of using the boys' bathroom as our main one, just cause of all the work that's happening. We should have an ensuite to our new bedroom very soon, um, but it's it's been tiled, but none of the, like the bath and the toilet and stuff like that is actually in there yet but coming very soon can't wait to show you guys what it looks like but this room it just because it's like high traffic I'm just going to give everything a good wipe down I'm using the spray wipe done like bathroom cleaner and I'm actually wearing gloves because you guys always tell me off for not wearing gloves when I'm cleaning the bathroom so I'm going to do that clean the sink and I'm also going to put some more soap because this has kind of run out I recently got this one it's a ginger and ginger and lemon something like that I think I think it was a Bailey's and Hardy's one, but it does smell quite nice, a bit Jo Maloney. So I'm just going to do that, wipe down the sides and then clean the toilet in this room before going downstairs and starting on our new little gym. <laughs> From my window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door You don't have to wake up yet We can spend all day in Marathon, KG saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food I'll put your favorite music on All the way baritone yeah, so this is the spare room downstairs and we decided to make it a bit of a gym because we have a treadmill that used to live in our garage but we thought it could actually be inside because we didn't really have any plans for this room it could easily be um, a guest room or I was thinking if we don't use the gym I might make it a little like doggy living room I'm just joking but I've seen the most amazing TikToks and reels of these tiny little rooms for dogs to hang out in. Um, but anyway, I'm just joking. Hopefully we'll use this gym. And I feel like with three boys, when they're teenagers, they might want to use it as well. But we have a treadmill, so that's going to go in here. We also have some weights, a little weight bench and a mat as well. And we've put a TV up. And because the walls were all new, we've kind of sunk it into the wall. So it looks, you know, quite nice. So you could come in here put on a YouTube workout and follow it or like a YouTube weights class, etc. Um, so that's the plan. I'll let you know how I get on with this space. Um, but this is another room that is all done. Sorry about the lighting. It's difficult to show you at night because we have warm white lights in most of the rooms. Um, then I'm gonna come into the kitchen. As you can see, it's a bit of a mess. There's stuff all over the sides from today. Lots of clothes. I just did a big uniform order and I need to kind of sort that out and there's bits left over from dinner as well so I'm going to put away all the pots and pans that I have actually washed and then also wash up like our air fryer and a few other pots and um, put stuff into the dishwasher etc wipe down the sides so let's clean the kitchen shut the lights go in front Screw. You don't have to do one single thing. When I 
also wanted to show you where our pantry is going to go. If you haven't seen this already, we've kind of made like a cupboard door to look like the kitchen, but it actually goes into a pantry. They're currently building that now. So hopefully very soon we'll have shelves and units in there that we can like organize and fit up with all of our dry ingredients. You don't know how much I want you. Just looking at you makes my whole world spin. have an island again things are looking a bit tidier but I'm also going to wipe down the rest of the surfaces here as you can see I'm watching Bailey Sarian on my little Google home I love to listen to her podcasts um, and watch her as well while I clean or just like hang out I really like her um, dark history series um, but yeah it's going to wipe down the sides and I'm also going to clean the stove as well we keep wiping everything down but if you've ever renovated then you'll know the dust keeps settling I can see why that is a saying now so because of that this no matter how many times I wipe it it keeps getting a bit dusty so I'm going to take all of the little grid things off give it all a good wipe down and then put it all back and we decided to go for like a range I think it's called a range oven range master oven when we moved into this house it already had an old one like this and we didn't think we'd like cooking with gas but it turned out that we actually really liked it so we've got a similar one but it's part gas part electric so you kind of get the best of both worlds um, so maybe I'll show you it in a cooking video very soon um, but yeah it's gonna wipe it all down and then I'm also going to give the sink a really good clean I'm gonna use some of the pink stuff I'm gonna give it a really good scrub there's loads of little bits in the sink from today and with this new like setup we got a cooker tap I think it's called a cooker tap you know the one that you can get boiling water if you want to but with it it also has like a little extendable nozzle which makes it so much easier to clean the sink I've always wanted one of these so I'm really excited to finally have one um, and I've been using it a lot and I'm just going to carry on wiping everything down and then I'm going to try and tackle some of the new shelves in our kitchen where we don't have any like ornaments or anything out on the shelves it's already become a place where things just go um, so I've got some packages packages, some trays, some random bits of makeup and glasses and stuff like that um, on that area. So I'm going to try and find a home for everything. We also have some samples on the shelves for artificial grass. We've been thinking about it. We really don't want to because when we moved in the grass was so beautiful here but after the summer we've had it's it's really quite yellow and also the boys football because they're constantly playing on it it really is taking a bit of a beating but anyway once I've cleared those shelves I'm going to come upstairs put a load of laundry on I'm doing some whites tonight um, if you haven't seen my full utility room tour definitely check it out I'll link it down below I only just recently posted it but if you want to see like 
all the storage hacks and everything um, you can check it out but I'm already loving using this space makes me actually want to come and do laundry in this room and there was also quite a bit of washing in the tumble dryer so I'm going to get that out empty the lint and then fold everything um, in the utility room hey darling can I tell you what's been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light hey darling we could get out of town see the beautiful world around wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Next up, I'm going to tidy up our front room. The kids were hanging out in here and I didn't realize how messy it was. It's the kind of room you can just like close off. So I've kind of come in here and gone, oh, didn't realize they had all the coloring out when I was busy earlier. So I'm just gonna quickly get all the papers together, wipe down the table and then sort out the couches. I cannot wait to move this table out into the main area and then be able to put all the kids toys into the playroom the playroom's nearly done and I do feel bad that we haven't really had like a proper spot for all their toys and everything they have bits in their rooms and stuff but you can see there really is a pile on the side uh, where they love to do coloring and get creative so it'd be really nice when they do have like a bit more space to put all their blocks and Legos and all of that stuff in here um, so yeah I'm just going to tidy up the couches and then vacuum as well our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday That we only get one life I wanna make it count Honey, come on now and take my hand I'm also just gonna vacuum the kitchen haven't seen them we got some new runners as well for this space they were from ruggable so they're really like they're the ones you can take off and then put into the washing machines so they're quite handy so i'm just like repositioning them and then just going to vacuum everything because it's a bit dusty a few bits of food etc and then i think that is all i'm gonna get done this evening but i know tomorrow when i wake up i'm gonna feel so much better for having done all of these chores so i hope you like this video thanks for watching and i'll I'll see you soon.